Hi, my name is Kanwal Sarai and welcome to this overview video of the Simply Investing Report and Analysis Platform. In this video, you will learn what is the Simply Investing Report and Analysis Platform, the 12 rules of Simply Investing and the Simply Investing Criteria, what makes this platform unique and how can it help you to become a better investor? The types of subscription accounts. And then I will show you the Simply Investing platform in action. The Simply Investing platform is a web application providing you with a quick and simple tool to build and track a resilient portfolio of stocks, which will provide you with growing passive income each year. The Simply Investing platform analyzes and lists stocks that are of the highest quality and are priced low, in other words, undervalued, so that you can earn more, reduce your risk, and save time when it comes to investing. The Simply Investing platform also shows you which stocks to avoid, ones that are overvalued or priced high, allows you to customize which data to view and how to view it, allows you to create your own custom email alerts, allows you to get regular email notifications of top ranked stocks, allows you to track your own stocks and estimate your annual income. And you can use this feature to model a stock portfolio that you are considering to build. The platform also allows you to build your own watch list, allows you to compare stocks side by side, allows you to quickly find deep valued stocks, and allows you to perform your own advanced research. This platform provides you with over 120 data points for each stock. And finally, the platform also provides you with more than 20 years of historical financial data on all common stocks. The Simply Investing platform tracks all common stocks, dividend and non-dividend stocks, currently trading on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and the Toronto Stock Exchange. Stock prices and financial data is updated once daily using end of day pricing and the Simply Investing platform website is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The 12 rules of Simply Investing are designed to help you earn more, reduce your risk and save you time. Here are the 12 rules listed on the screen. If you're interested in learning more about them, they are covered in detail in the Simply Investing online course. Ideally, it's best to invest in a stock that passes all of these 12 rules. You know you are looking at a quality company when it passes all of the rules listed on the screen here. The rules shown in bold, rules number 5 to number 11, are quantitative, meaning there's no discrepancy here, and a company will either pass or fail that rule. For example, rule number 6 requires that the average 20-year dividend growth must be 8% or more. If it's less than 8%, then a company would fail rule number six. I refer to these quantitative rules as the simply investing criteria. As you can see, there are 10 SI criteria on the screen. If a company passes all of the criteria, it will get a maximum grade of 10 out of 10. If a company fails one criteria, it'll get a grade of nine out of 10. The Simply Investing platform will automatically calculate the SI criteria for all US and Canadian common stocks daily. And you will be able to see the SI criteria grade for each common stock. In addition, the platform will also provide you with the SI criteria grade using the five year, 10 year, 15 year, and 20 year historical data for each stock. I always recommend using the 20 year historical data. But for those that want to consider short-term trends, the platform provides you with that data as well. In a few minutes, you'll see all this in action when I demonstrate the Simply Investing platform. But first, what makes the Simply Investing platform so unique and how can it help you become a better investor? It is the only platform to apply the Simply Investing criteria to all common stocks in the US and in Canada. This platform immediately shows you the top rank stocks. These are stocks that achieve an SI criteria grade of 10 out of 10. The platform will also show you deep valued stocks, both dividend and non-dividend stocks. We also provide you with advanced filters and search capabilities on over 120 values per stock, 
including metrics you will not find anywhere else. You'll be able to perform very quickly advanced searches on unique, undervalued, or overvalued stocks. You'll be able to quickly estimate and predict your annual dividend income. You can create your own email alerts based on your personal conditions. Again, you can choose from over 120 metrics per stock. You can receive a list of top rank stocks, runner-up stocks, and deep valued stocks daily, weekly, or monthly. The platform also allows you to compare stocks side by side against 120 different values, again including metrics not available anywhere else. You can instantly get a list of stocks that are priced low, undervalued, and those that are priced high, overvalued, regardless if a stock pays a dividend or not. You'll also be able to customize your stock tables exactly the way you want and view data that you will not find anywhere else all in one place. These are powerful yet simple and easy to use tools to help you earn more, reduce your risk, and save time when it comes to investing. The Simply Investing platform will allow you to build and track a resilient portfolio of quality stocks, which will provide you with growing passive income for life. There are five types of subscriptions available in the Simply Investing platform. The SI course account is available to anyone who purchases the Simply Investing online course. This account does not have access to any of the platform features. It only gives you access to the raw financial data for US and Canadian stocks. You can then use the financial data to fill in the Google Sheet, which comes with the course, and it allows you to apply the 12 rules of Simply Investing yourself. The free account allows you to test drive the platform. Some of the features are not available in this account, and this account is only limited to a universe of 15 stocks. The US account gives you access to all of the features, but is limited to only US common stocks. The Canadian account also gives you access to all the features, but is limited to only Canadian common stocks that trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange. The US and Canadian account gives you access to all of the features and access to both US and Canadian common stocks. This includes stocks that trade on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and the Toronto Stock Exchange. In this video, I'll be using the US and Canadian account to demonstrate all of the features and functionality available to you in the platform. So let's get started and I'll show you the Simply Investing platform in action. In this video, I'll go through all the features, starting with the main menu from left to right, and then I'll cover all the pages listed on the side menu from top to bottom. When you first log into the site, you will be taken to the top ranked stocks page. And you can always come back to this page by clicking on the Simply Investing logo on the top left hand corner. The first menu item is welcome. And in here you'll see two different links. This links to the overview video that you're watching right now. If you click on Glossary, you'll be taken to a page where you will find a list of common investing terms and their definitions. The next menu item is the 12 rules. And we already covered the 12 rules in a previous slide in this presentation. Scrolling down on the page, you will find some common questions and answers regarding the 12 rules of Simply Investing. Let's move on to the next page building your portfolio. Here you will find guidelines on how to build your income producing portfolio. For more information, watch the video tutorial on this page. Next, we have the FAQ section. Here you will find the most commonly asked questions and answers. The page is divided into three parts. Part one covers questions related to this platform. Part two covers general investing questions. And part three, covers questions related to customer service. On the top right hand corner, click on your name to get your account information. Your email address is listed here. The type of subscription you have purchased is listed here. If you'd like to change or view any of this information, click here to access your account. Just a quick reminder, your email and password is needed to access your user account. And again, on the screen on the right hand side, those are the things you will be able to change or update with your email and password. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see email and PIN. 
and that's what you'll need to access the platform. Remember, each time you log into the platform, you'll arrive at the top ranked page. And you can always come back to this page by clicking on the logo at the top left corner or clicking on top ranked in the side menu. Top ranked stocks are dividend paying stocks that are of the highest quality and undervalued, price low, based on their 20 year historical data. These stocks achieve a maximum grade of 10 out of 10 in the Simply Investing criteria. In the long term, these stocks have the highest potential for capital appreciation and dividend growth. By default, stocks are ordered from highest dividend growth to lowest dividend growth. Start with companies that have a history of many years of consecutive dividend increases. Remember, you are still responsible for applying rules 1 to 4 and number 12. There's a short video here that shows you how to use this table. With this account, you can select between viewing US stocks or Canadian stocks in the table. Now, let's look at the features that are common to all the pages on this site containing a stock table. The first column shows three icons for each stock in the table. Click on this icon to add this stock to my stocks table. Click on this icon to add this stock to my watch list. Click on this icon to email alerts related to this stock. The three icons will change color when they have been activated. When this icon is green with a circle around it, it means that this stock has been added to the My Stocks page. When the icon is orange with a circle around it, it means that this stock has been added to my watch list. When this icon is blue with a circle around it, it means that you have set up a specific email alert for this stock. We'll cover these three pages in more detail later in this video. In the second column, you will see the company name. When you click on any company name, you are taken to the stock's data page. We'll cover the stock data page in more detail later in this video. Now, let's go back to the top rank page. Click on column definitions to see a list of all columns available to you in any stock table. And on this page, you can also see a description of each of the columns. By default, the Simply Investing Criteria columns which are rules, numbers 5 to 11, are displayed in the table. By hovering over the question mark, you can see the rule definition. For example, you can see rule number 6, that the dividend growth must be 8% or more. By default, this table is showing 18 columns. The first three columns are fixed, but the other columns can be moved according to your preference. Let's say I want to see the current dividend yield first. I can simply drag the column and move it into the first position. You can also hide columns that you're not interested in by clicking on the red X. I'll go ahead and hide the share price. When you hover your mouse over a column, you will see these small little arrows, arrows that are pointing up. By clicking on the arrow, you can automatically sort the list from lowest to highest. Clicking on it again will sort it from highest to low. Since we've sorted a column, moved another column, and hid the share price column, the table no longer looks the way it did when we first logged in. There's a quick way to restore the default table view. Just click over here on Restore Default View. And the table returns back to its default view. You'll notice the share price column that we hid is now back in its default location. There are 38 stocks in this table, so you can use the scroll bar to view all of the stocks. By default, a maximum of 50 stocks are displayed at a time. You can use these options to scroll through the list of stocks. It's very easy for you to make more room on the screen in order to view any stock table. You can use this arrow to minimize the side menu. By minimizing the side menu, you can increase the amount of real estate available to you on the screen. Even when minimized, the side menu options are still available to you. You can use this arrow here to hide the description text. Again, this makes more room on the screen for you. Once you hide the description text, the system will remember your setting. So even if you log out and log back in, the text will remain hidden. In order to view it again, just click on the arrow. Click here on Filters to view the pop-up filter window. Any changes that you make in this pop-up window are only applied to the current table. In this case, the top ranked stocks table we were just looking at. 
Clicking here will take you to the column definitions page that we saw earlier. Let's start on the left hand side. Here is a list of more than 120 columns that you can add or remove to your current table. From here you can also search for specific columns. Let's say I want to add two more columns to my top ranked page. I could come here and click on 52 week high, 52 week low. We can get even more specific. Remember the top ranked table was showing 38 US stocks, but let's say out of those 38 stocks, we only want to see stocks that have an annual forward dividend of greater than $1.25. Click on the plus sign next to annual forward dividend. You'll notice here that there's six operators to choose from. So I'm going to change this to greater than, and then I'm going to go ahead and enter $1.25. Do not enter any symbols in here. For example, the dollar sign or percent sign, just enter the value that you're looking for. Click here to apply the filter immediately. Or if you would like to reuse this filter at a later time, you can save it by entering a filter name here. To apply a previously saved filter, just click on the green check mark here. You can also filter by exchanges. This option will select the default 18 columns for this top rank table. This option will select only the 10 Simply Investing criteria columns, which are the Simply Investing rules numbers 5 to 11. I'll go ahead and click on the Apply Filters button. Now you can see that the view label has changed, letting me know that I've applied my filter and the table looks very different from when it did when we first logged in. I only have six columns in the table instead of the default 18, but the table is still showing 38 top rank stocks. It's still the same stocks that achieve an SI grade of 10 out of 10. To get back to your default view, just click on restore default view. Now, if you already own these top rank stocks or are looking for additional stocks to consider, let's take a look at the runners up page. These are dividend paying stocks that have met nine out of the 10 quantitative rules of simply investing. In other words, these stocks get an SI criteria grade of nine out of 10. By default, stocks are ordered from highest dividend growth to lowest dividend growth. And by default, the following 18 columns are displayed. These stocks are worth considering because they provide you with greater diversification. For example, if you're an experienced investor and are looking to invest in a specific sector, you could wait for a stock in that sector to appear in the top rank table, or you could check here in the runners up table. Since these stocks fail one SI criteria, you need to look at the failed value and evaluate whether or not you should still invest in that stock. For example, Rule number six requires that the average 20 year dividend growth is 8% or more, and a stock could have an average growth of 7.9. Technically it fails rule number six, but the rule is very close to 8%. So you need to make a decision based on the remaining rules and the current makeup of your portfolio. On this table and throughout all the tables in the site, whenever a value fails one of the SI criteria, the cell will be highlighted and the value will be in bold, as you can see here. This allows you to quickly see which rule has failed. Remember the 10 SI criteria are listed here and to see the rule definitions, just hover over the question marks. Like all the other tables on the site, you can customize your table by rearranging the columns or hiding columns or sorting columns. Or you can use the filters option to see more columns and filter on them. To make more room on the screen, you can minimize the side menu and hide the description text. To see the Canadian stocks, just click over here. Next is the My Stocks page. On this page, you can store the list of stocks you currently own, view your portfolio diversification, and see your estimated annual dividend income. You can also use this page to plan your future portfolio and forecast your estimated annual dividend income. It's really simple to add or remove stocks from this table. You can add by company name or stock symbol. In this example, I will add BCE that trades in Canada on the Toronto Stock Exchange. For Canadian stocks, you will need to add a suffix at the end of the stock symbol, like I've shown here. You'll need to add a colon followed by CA. For US stocks, you only need to enter the stock symbol. I'll go ahead and select BCE. I'll enter the number of shares. Optionally, you can enter your account type, such as 401k or RRSP, or leave it blank. In this case, I'll leave it blank and I'll click on add. You can see that the stock has been added successfully. 
it'll be under the Canadian Holdings tab. If I scroll down, you can see that BCE has now been added to the table. When a stock has been added to this page, its My Stock icon will turn green and have a circle around it. So if this stock appears anywhere else on the site, you can immediately recognize it from the green icon and know that it's included on your stocks page. To remove a stock from this table, simply click on the green icon, remove my stock. You can see that the stock has now been removed. By default, this table is only showing 19 columns, but remember, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. If you purchased a single country subscription, you will not see these elements on your screen. But if you purchased a US and Canadian subscription, you'll see that your stock holdings are stored in two different tables. Your US stocks are shown here under the US holdings tab, and you can see them in the table. And the Canadian stocks we were just looking at is under Canadian holdings, and they're in a separate table here. This table shows you the value of your combined portfolio, both in US dollars and in Canadian dollars. The currency exchange rates are listed here. You can also add a stock to this page from any stock table in the site. Let me show you how to do this from the top ranked page. Let's say I already own Tyson Foods. I can simply click on this icon, add to my stocks. You can see the company name and stock symbol has already been populated. I just need to enter the number of shares that I own. Optionally, enter your account type and then click save. The stock will automatically appear in the My Stocks page. Next is the My Watch List page. On this page, you can add and keep track of stocks that you're interested in. It's really simple to add or remove stocks from this table. You can add by company name or stock symbol. In this example, I'll add Walmart to the table. Click on the company name and click on add. When a stock has been added to this page, its My Watch List icon will turn orange and have a circle around it. So if this stock appears anywhere else on the site, you can immediately recognize it from the orange icon and know that it's included in your watch list. To remove a stock from this table, simply click on the orange icon right here. And you can see that the stock has now been removed. By default, this table is only showing 14 columns. However, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. You can also add a stock to this page from any stock table on the site. Let me show you how to do this from the top ranked page. Let's say I'm interested in this company right here. I can just click on the watch list icon and this company has now been added to my watch list page. Next is the My Alerts page. On this page, you can set email alerts for stocks that you're interested in. When a specific condition is met, you will receive an email alert. Email alerts are only sent out once a day after all the stock data has been updated at the end of day. In this example, I will add an alert for the stock Pepsi. I wanna be notified when the current dividend yield for Pepsi exceeds 4.5%. Step one, I'll enter the stock symbol here, click on Pepsi. Step two, select the column. Remember, you can select from over 120 columns available to you. I'll go ahead and click on current dividend yield, select the operator greater than 4.5. Now remember, you do not need to enter the symbol for a dollar sign or a percent sign, just enter the value that you want to put in. You can also click on add more if you would like to add more than one condition. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And you can see that the alert for Pepsi has now been added to this list. When you create an alert for a stock, the My Alerts icon will turn blue and have a circle around it. So if this stock appears anywhere else on the site, you can immediately recognize it from the blue icon and know that you've got an email alert created for it. To delete an alert, simply click on the blue alert icon. And you can see that the alert has now been removed. To modify an existing alert, you have to delete the original alert and then create a new one. You can also arrive at this page from any other stock table on the site. In this example, I'm going to use top ranked. So let's say I'm interested in creating an alert for this company right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the alert icon. It's going to take me to the alerts page and you can see that the company name is already pre-populated in step one. And then you would just continue with step two and then save your alert. Next is the my email 
list page. On this page, you can select the frequency and the list you would like to subscribe to. For example, here I would like to receive the top ranked list of stocks daily, the runner up list of stocks weekly, and the deep valued dividend stocks list every month. Changes are saved immediately and you can always come back here to change your settings or unsubscribe. Next is the search stocks page. You'll notice two buttons at the top of the screen here, view Dow 30 list and the view TSX 60 list. I'm going to show you the Dow 30 list. The TS60 is exactly the same except it has a list of 60 Canadian companies instead of the 30 US companies. But the format of the tables and the functionality for both of those buttons will be exactly the same. So let's take a look at the Dow 30 list. By default, companies are listed from highest dividend yield to the lowest dividend yield. You can always click on a company name to get to the company's stock data page. And you can do that from any stock table on the site. I'll go ahead and click on IBM. The stock data page is divided into four sections. The first section contains basic stock information. The second section contains the stock graph. The third section contains a table showing the 10 SI criteria for this company and a description of the company as well. The fourth section can only be viewed by clicking on View Historical Data. This table will show historical data going back to 1999. You can uh, customize the graph by selecting the time span. Uh, if you click on Max, this option will only go back to 1999. So I'll go ahead and just click on 10. In this drop down, you can select from five different values. You can only select one value at a time. Once you've made your selections, click on Refresh Graph to view the updated graph. Let's go back to Search Stocks. You can see on this search page, there's two tabs. One is for Basic Search, the other one is for Advanced Search. So on Basic Search, you can search for any company by company name or stock symbol. And when you search for a company, it will immediately take you to the company's stock data table. So for example, if I type in Walmart, select the company name, click on search, it's going to go to the company's stock data table. Let's go back to search stocks, click on advanced search. Here you can search by market, US stocks or Canadian stocks. Here you can search by industry. And here you can search by sector. Here you can search by SI criteria out of 10. And we cover five years worth of data, 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years. And here you can select undervalued or overvalued stocks based on five year, 10 year, 15 or 20 year data. In this example, let's search for US stocks in the healthcare sector. Click on search. By default, stocks are listed in order of highest SI criteria to the lowest SI criteria. As a reminder, you'll see the values that fail the SI criteria are in bold and the cells are highlighted. You can always hover over the question marks to see the individual criteria rules. You can also drag and drop columns if you want to change the order or hide columns that you're not interested in. And you can sort columns from high to low or from low to high. By default, this table is only showing 19 columns. However, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. You will have to click on the reset button if you wish to run another search query. Now let's go to the compare stocks page. On this page, you can compare up to a maximum of 25 stocks at a time. As an example, let's compare two companies, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Step one, select US stocks. Step two, enter the company name. And then I'll also select Pepsi. And I will go ahead and also select Walmart, even though I don't want to compare it. But I do want to show in here, you will see the list of companies that you've selected. So if you do make a mistake and you, like in this case, don't want to compare Walmart to Coke and Pepsi, I'm going to go ahead and unclick, unselect Walmart. And you can see it disappears from the list. Step three, click on compare. In the table, you can now compare both stocks side by side. You can see that Coca-Cola gets a 5 out of 10 in the SI criteria and Pepsi gets a 4 out of 10 in the SI criteria. 
the values that fail the SI criteria are in bold and the cells are highlighted. You can always hover over the question marks to see the individual SI criteria rules. By default, this table is only showing 19 columns. However, you can use filter to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Now, let's take a look at the advanced analysis option. Here you can see a list of six different types of stock tables. Let's begin with undervalued dividend stocks. This table contains dividend stocks which are trading at historically low prices. In other words, undervalued, because their current dividend yield is higher than their average 20-year dividend yield. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. This table is only showing 19 columns, but remember you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Next is the overvalued dividend stocks page. This table contains dividend stocks which are trading at historically high prices, in other words, overvalued, because their current dividend yield is less than or equal to their average 20-year dividend yield. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. There are two main benefits of this overvalued table. The overvalued table provides you with a list of stocks to avoid if you are considering investing in them. You should never invest in stocks that are priced high or overvalued. If you already own stocks that are in the overvalued table, then have a look at the FAQ page, question 2-3, before you make any sell decision. By default, this table is only showing 19 columns, but remember, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Next is the deep valued dividend stocks page. This table contains dividend stocks which are trading at historically very low prices. I call them deep valued stocks. And these can be considered for purchase after careful analysis. Start with those which have the highest SI criteria grade out of 10. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. Stocks that appear in this table have a difference between their current dividend yield and their average 20-year dividend yield equal to or greater than 200%. Remember to apply the 12 rules of simply investing before making any investing decisions. By default, this table is only showing 19 columns. But remember, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Next, there are three tables that focus on non-dividend paying stocks. Let's start with the first one here. Undervalued non-dividend paying stocks. This table contains non-dividend stocks, which are trading at historically low prices, or in other words, undervalued, because their current P-E ratio is less than their average 20-year P-E ratio. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. Remember to apply the 12 rules of simply investing before making any investing decisions. By default, this table is only showing 15 columns, However, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Next is the overvalued non-dividend stocks table. This table contains non-dividend stocks which are trading at historically high prices, or in other words, overvalued, because their current P-E ratio is greater than or equal to their average 20-year P-E ratio. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. There are two main benefits of the overvalued table. The overvalued table provides you with a list of stocks to avoid if you are considering investing in them. You should never invest in stocks that are priced high or overvalued. If you already own stocks that are in the overvalued table, then have a look at the FAQ page, question 2-3, before you make any sell decisions. By default, this table is only showing 15 columns. However, you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. Next is the deep valued non-dividend stocks table. This table contains non-dividend stocks, which are trading at historically very, very low prices. I call them deep valued stocks. By default, stocks are ordered from highest SI criteria to the lowest. Stocks that appear in this table have a difference between their current PE ratio and their average 20 year PE ratio of less than or equal to negative 90%. Reminder to apply the 12 rules of simply investing before making any investing decisions. By default, this table is only showing 16 columns, but remember you can use filters to display and filter on more than 120 columns. And the last option on the side menu is the option to log out from the site. If you have any questions, please use the contact page on our website, simplyinvesting.com.
Thank you for watching this video.